Thank you for calling the LaPorte County Government. If this is an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. This call may be recorded. If you know your party's extension, please enter it now. For public health, press 1. For public safety, including the Sheriff's Office, press 3. For clerks, courts, probation, prosecutors, corrections, press 8. For public works, press... For county clerks, press 1. For courts, press 2. Probation, press 3. For circuit court, press 1. For the self-help center, press 2. For Michiana Adult Advocacy, press 3. For Veterans Court, press 4. For Problem Solving Court, press 5. For Superior 1, press 6. Superior 2, press 7. Superior 3, press 8. Superior 4, press 9. Superior Court 3. Um, yes, I'm trying to find out some information about um, some trials that I have tomorrow. What information is that? Um, well, I'm trying to find out what um, who's allowed in the building for these. Well, I suppose on anybody that has been summoned by the court, that would be any witnesses that were subpoenaed appropriately subpoenaed and the parties to the case okay so the public and nobody from any sort of media organization is allowed in that's correct because technically the county buildings are closed to the public okay so I'm required to be there in person but nobody else is allowed to come there with me that's correct okay um, and are these, how is the public um, able to, to sort of, are these streamed live or something? We, we are not um, equipped for a live feed. In Superior 3 or in LaPorte County? In Superior County? 3. I, don't, I, can't, I cannot speak for the other courts, but Superior Court 3 is presently not equipped for a live feed. Okay, so then this isn't a public proceeding at all, or it is. It, it, it is. It is a public. It, everything is of a public record, but because of COVID, this the Supreme Court has limited access to the building. <coughs> but it would to seem all, to all county buildings, right? All county courthouses. But the Supreme Court hasn't ordered LaPorte County to stream these on the state website, or not that I'm aware of. You'd have to you'd have to check with the Supreme Court. It, it would I it would seem that that there is an order for them to be streamed, and that's why some of some of the courts are doing it, and some of them are not. I guess. Well, I I can't I can't speak to the other courts, and I don't know what the Supreme Court has ordered for each court in the in the county. All I can tell you is at this moment, Superior Three is not equipped for a live feed. And you say the the public is not allowed in, but the Supreme Court is is where you got that information. I, if memory serves, but I can't I can't tell you that that's gospel. So the public could be allowed in. No, no, only if they are allowed by only if they have special permission by the court. So the so the public needs. So the only people the only people that are allowed right now in Superior Three are the parties to the case and any properly subpoenaed witnesses. But the the public has no way of knowing what's going no. on. How would the no, how would not, the public right now. find out what happened? Is there a, a way? How 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 can there? Uh, well, I'm I'm I have no idea. I can't tell you how the public's going to find out what happened. Are there like transcripts available, or or is this a? You can you can request a transcript at the conclusion of the proceedings. Do you know if it's video recorded or audio recorded? It is audio recorded by the court reporter. Okay. And that's not going to be streamed either? No, sir. Okay. 
So essentially, I'm, I'm going to be in that building for bait about eight hours, um, and, and there's nobody that's going to be able to witness it, anything except for basically a bunch of people that work there and are there as witnesses against me. I guess that would be it. This sounds something more like a military tribunal in some sort of a uh, third world well, country. Well, you know what? I can't speak to whether it's a military tribunal or what. All I can tell you is how this court is going to function tomorrow for your case. Okay. Um, and All right. Am, am I allowed to... I'm, I'm pro se and I'm told I'm, I'm being treated as a real attorney, basically. So, um... That's right. You're acting as your own attorney. Right. So I I don't have any issues bringing my cellular phone in there like a real attorney, right? You would because uh, attorneys are special. Like attorneys are like I am? attorneys are certified officers of the court. A person representing themselves pro se is not an officer of the court. I'm well aware of so that. That's, that's the difference. That's the difference. That's why you can't bring your phone in. That's why I haven't waived my First Amendment right as well. Well, you know what? Now, now you're getting into something totally different, and you're no. It's all kind of connected. You're asking things. You're asking things that you I didn't have, ask you anything. Have addressed. You're 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 bringing up issues you should have addressed long before the day before your bench trial. Um, well, I kind of have. I don't know if you've noticed, but these cases are about two and a half years old. I've brought them up numerous okay. times. Whatever, I'm on judge number eight. Yeah, whatever. Here. May I ask who I'm speaking with? That was kind of unprofessional. This is, the bailiff. this is the bailiff. And do you have a name, bailiff? I, I'm the bailiff. The bailiff? Are you the only bailiff in that whole courthouse? I'm the bailiff for Superior Court 3. Okay, which means you're paid with public funds, so you don't have a, a name. You know what, Mr. Throgmorton, I'm going to hang up now because you're not even listening to me and you're speaking about things that you should have brought up. Do you mean like American values, trial? like a public trial with my peers? <laughs> oh my god. You guys are hilarious.